Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and Trails End is reopening today. I am so excited. This is one of my all-time favorite places to get some barbecue. I'm in love with the brisket here and we decided to come out and see what's new and how the whole dining experience has changed and also maybe visit Tri-Circle D Ranch and Crockett's Tavern and have a Fort Wilderness kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. If you plan on coming out and dining at Trails End, or if you just want to visit Fort Wilderness, you need to park at the main parking lot, and then you have to either take a bus, a golf cart, horseback, or a boat from the Magic Kingdom over to the restaurant or Pioneer Hall, the main settlement area. They have no parking available, even if you have a reservation. Look at all the awesome golf carts here. So people have to park their golf carts here to actually get a bus to go to the parks. Look at this Stormtrooper one. That is amazing. Wow. I really love it when they go all in and they decorate. The holidays here is absolutely amazing. Seeing all the campsites decorated for Halloween and Christmas. I love it. Oh, and we got some horsies coming. They do horseback riding and they have special horse trails that they can go on. Look at that. Isn't it so fun? I love it so much. Look at all the horsies. I would love to do this one day. And since I don't know anyone that has a golf cart right now, and I'm not doing the horseback riding, looks like I'm going to be taking the good old Walt Disney World bus transportation to Trails End. Pioneer Hall. That's the one for me. They still require you to wear a mask though whenever you do the bus transportation. So luckily I had one of these in the car knowing that I needed to take a bus. And just like that, we are here at the Pioneer Hall now. And there's so much to take in. Like before I said we were gonna maybe check out Crockett's Tavern. And definitely I wanna see the Tri-Circle D Ranch since we came a little bit early. That closes at three o'clock, so I think we're gonna go there first. Right here is the Pioneer Hall, and this is where the Hoop Dee Doo musical review used to be, and then Trails End, and then Crockett's Tavern. So we're gonna actually go this way, back to where we got dropped off by the bus stop, to go to the Tri-Circle D Ranch to see some horses. The Tri-Circle D Ranch is home to some of the most magical horses on the planet, including the Headless Horseman's horse, which I absolutely love. And we're getting close to Halloween, so maybe we'll get to see them. Here it is. And this is the newest facility. They actually reopened this during the pandemic and it's my first time coming out here. They have some things in here that are absolutely priceless and I can't wait to show you. One of the coolest things is this carriage here that they have and this was at opening day Disneyland. Walt actually rode this himself and here it is in Walt Disney World. Some say it is the most valuable thing on Walt Disney World property. And take a look at this. From 1907 he gets to do a little push. Isn't that amazing? Honestly, I would do anything to ride it. What good is a carriage, though, without a horse? Look at this! We got Rookie behind us. Hi, Rookie. How are you, baby? Hello. I don't know why, but every time I see other cute animals, I just think of my dog. Rookie looks just like Gracie. And then, <laughs> Skylar, you also look like Gracie. <laughs> Everyone looks like Gracie. You're all adorable. Hi, Skylar. Not all of the ranch is open right now because they do have quiet time. So I think most of the horses that were actually for uh, the uh, Headless Horsemen are in the back. But I think there may be one that they use in case of emergencies. Look at Grady. They're getting excited because food. It's dinner time, isn't it? I see them coming down here. They're about to feed all the different horses. Grady's getting excited. <laughs> Grady's got something to say. There you go, Grady. Now it's time to get some food. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
I really love it here. I can actually come and hang out with the horses all day. Most of the horses that are up front are just really good with crowds and some of the ones that kind of like to keep to themselves are back there. But you can also do pony rides and I think that's fun. I think they're for the little ones though. Pony rides are $8 for one lap and then $12 for two laps. And look at all the ponies in there. Isn't that cute? Oh, look, we just caught sighting. There's one of the Headless Horseman horses right there, making its way back. Oh, how cool is that? I love hearing the sound of horses walking. Now I think we'll head back over to Pioneer Hall, maybe take a pit stop at Crockett's Tavern, get ourselves some moonshine, sit in a rocking chair, and then go to our dinner reservation at Trails End. And I'm excited because I am hungry. I love how you can come here, get dinner, and also see horses and just experience all of this beautiful resort. It really is something else. So a lot of people say it's hard to get to, but it's definitely worth planning out a whole day just to come and enjoy Fort Wilderness. I have not heard anything about the Hoop De Doo musical review, but I really hope that comes back because that was one of the best dining experiences you can have here. All you can eat food with a show, all you can drink. I remember coming here with my friend Gracie and we had so much fun, the whole family. It was such a great time and I want to do it again. So please come back, Hoop De Doo musical review. I miss you. <laughs> Speaking of the Hoop De Doo musical review, this is where you would actually enter to go to the dinner show. And then over here we have PJ Southern Takeout and then Trails End of course where we're going to be dining a little bit later. Trails End is completely different, it's no longer a buffet and uh, I'm excited to see what they changed and how it's going to be done. Luckily, I have a friend joining me for dinner. Another ranch hand on the scene to help you out. Yeah, I got a cowpuncher badge too if you need it. See? I do need it. Oh, you do. Ah, <laughs> uh, see, you didn't come prepare. You don't got your cowpuncher badge. I need it. Can I get one here? No, no, I don't think That's so. That's okay. That can be a thing. <laughs> This is where we check in, but I don't think it's open yet because no one's here checking anyone in. So right next door is Crockett's Tavern and they specialize in moonshine drinks and I see two rocking chairs unoccupied right there. So a little moonshine, a little rocking chair, that's the way. <laughs> oh, but look at this. Howdy folks, Crockett's Tavern is open today 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. So it looks like we're a little bit too early, but take a look at the cocktails. Like I said, they, they really specialize in moonshine. Davies Moonshine Lemonade, Black Lightning, a Gully Wumper. So I think maybe we'll have to come back either before we head in for dinner or afterwards because I got to get myself a moonshine. I guess since Crockett's isn't open yet, we'll just have to come out after we have dinner. And plus I wanted to explore around the fort a little bit after dinner because I hear that they actually started up the fireplace or the, the uh, campfire, but with certain limitations. And I would like to check that out. Here is a look at the menu. We're gonna be here for dinner and it's $29.99 a person. It's all you care to enjoy. And you get a nice smokehouse skillet style and it comes with the brisket, the chicken, the sausage, the potatoes, the green beans, all the fixings. And I hear tell that we can actually get the fried chicken that you know, Trails End and Hoop De Doo is known for. Instead of the rotisserie chicken, we just have to ask for it. So we're gonna find out. And you can also add on enhancements like ribs, shrimp, and cornbread, salmon. So we're definitely gonna enjoy lots of this. First table's back, here we are. Ready Thompson Family? Sorry. Oh, Thompson Family, how do you Hey, that's us. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Welcome back. Oh my gosh, beautiful. I know. Nice. <laughs> now that we're at our table, it's really fun and all the cast members are happy that we're back in action and we did get confirmation that you can get the fried chicken instead of the rotisserie chicken. So that is amazing because the fried chicken here is so good and they sell it at PJ's but you can actually get it with your skillet. This is the pimento butter which is quite excellent. Ooh, pimento pimento butter. Butter. This is, this butter. This one is honey butter honey and butter. this is an array of bread with the cornbread. This one is nice. unsweetened tea, correct? Thank you, yes. And this is a half and half sweet. Nice. You got a little Arnold Palmer and some bread. <laughs> Look at this bread basket. 
They said they got the pimento cheese there and a honey butter, but you got cornbread and then kind of like a hush, hush puppy. A hush puppy. Oh, That's hush what it looks like. Bread. Yeah. This looks so good, and I like how we get everything in mason jars. Yeah, I love it so much. I'm gonna dive in to the bread, and I'm gonna start with the hush puppy. I think that's what it is. I mean, it is definitely a fried bread. I don't know, we're gonna find out, bite in. I'm going all in. <laughs> it's like a fried hush puppy, but with jalapeno like cornbread. Mm. So delicious. I'm really, really liking these. And this is something that you can get full on quick. So you gotta take your time when you're eating here. <laughs> Looks like the food is here too. Right. Holy moly. And you got the add on chicken, right? Yes. yes thank you. And then, all right, let's go to you. All right. We all have in. Pecan smoked brisket. Mm. We have andouille sausage. It's an Italian sausage, a little spicy. Corn on the cob. This is fingerling potatoes. Oven roasted chicken, green beans. This is a chipotle uh, the barbecue sauce and a Carolina honey mustard. Okay? Thank you. Enjoy your Much too good. <laughs> I really love the bread game here. In between the hush puppies and the cornbread itself and the biscuits, really, really good. I like the honey butter and I haven't tried the pimento brother. I don't think that's something I'm really gonna dive into, but maybe Jackie will. <laughs> and here it is, the main course. Look at this. We got the sausage. We got the pecan brisket, the corn on the cob. We got the rotisserie chicken, the green beans, the fingerling potatoes on this side. And then also they gave us both chickens. So they gave us some of the rotisserie chicken and that amazing fried chicken. And this is so cool. I mean, I am pumped about this. We're also going to get the rib edition and the shrimp edition. These are not all you can eat. You just get one portion. So I think we're getting the half rack of ribs. And I think it's $9.99 and the shrimp is $8.99. So we're going to have a lot of food to dive into. First things first, I think we're going to hop into the chicken here. And this is all you care to enjoy, like I said. So you can get as many pieces as you like. I'm going to take this and save that for Jackie. She likes the little drumsticks, don't you? You do, don't you? <laughs> all right, I'm going all in on the thigh here. I'm excited. No, a lot of people don't eat thighs with their hands. They just eat drumsticks, but I think I could do it both ways, so. I don't know what it is about the chicken here. The skin has such a taste. Maybe it might be the oil they fry it in, but it's so airy. Look at that. It's so airy and crispy, and it has so much flavor. I love it. I don't think it's really good to eat thighs with your hands, so I switched to a fork, which is still very delicious. I love the chicken, like I said. It's, it's got to be something with the way that they cook it. I don't know. If it's you guys like, know much about chicken, you let me know, because yeah, this like is the... good. Now I'm going to start making a little plate here, and I'll pull out a sausage, and then, of course, the brisket. I might save the brisket for last because I have a feeling it's probably what I'm going to love the most. Mm. Look at that. Mm. Oh. And then a little bit of green beans, a little corn on the cobby, and then of course the potatoes. We need those potatoes. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, and then it get, looks like we got like one, one quarter of a chicken. We get a little wingy though. Mm. I'm wondering how this sausage is going to compare to Ohana's new sausage. I think this is andouille, and uh, Ohana is more of a kabasi, but we'll find out when we bite into it here. Mm -hmm. Much more smoke, a uh, little bit of spice, actually a lot of spice to it. So if you don't like spicy sausages, that's probably not the way to go. It is definitely a spicy sausage. Look at that, you can see it in there. So good. And this is my plate. There's a little brisket with the pecan rub on it, my chicken, and we still had the ribs and shrimp coming. Those are the add-ons. And I'll show you it all and I'll let you know what my favorite is, but I think I already know. Hint, hint. <laughs> now I'm gonna dive into the potatoes. Little fingerling potatoes, don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, those are good potatoes. Might as well a little green beans while I'm here, you know. <laughs> The potatoes were good and the green beans are good, but look at what has arrived. We've got ribs and shrimp. And that is a lot of shrimp, look at that. So if you're missing the shrimp over at Ohana, look, you can come over here and you can peel and eat all you want. I think I uh, sense a little Old Bay in there, maybe. Maybe a little Old Bay, I don't know. 
because I plan on saving the brisket for last, I'm gonna hop right into the ribs here, and I broke it apart. Now, it is like a half of like slab of ribs, but it's still a very big portion. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh boy, a little bit messy though. <laughs> Be prepared. All right, we're diving in right here. That is so good. Oh man. Nice and smoky. The the meat is literally like stuck on the rib, but like falling off easily. Not overcooked. Very good ribs. Oh yeah. Everything I've eaten so far has been phenomenal. The chicken, the potatoes, the green beans, the ribs. Now I'm gonna peel and eat some shrimp here. I am I'm so excited. Like this is such a meal. And technically, like I said, it's $29.99, which is Probably the cheapest family style. That's the same price as Sebastian's. Uh, but we did get the add-ons. So with the add-ons, uh, kind of like averages out to $35 a person. And look at all the food you get. And we can keep on asking for more. That's the crazy part of it all. I was told by a couple of the coordinators at Ohana that a reason that they didn't bring the shrimp back and they brought it back as a casserole is because a lot of people complained that they had to peel their own shrimp. I don't know if that's 100% true, but I do like peeling my own shrimp. I don't mind it, you know, you just kind of knock it off there and, you know, flip the tail, get the extra meat from inside the tail and bada bing, bada boom. Now it is time. We're going all in on the brisket here. Look at that. I love brisket. I mean, it is just so delicious. And this one here, oh, you can't, you can't do better. I have been waiting for this right here. That's it right there. Can't do much better than that. I love it. Now, to be fair, I think I need to try the rotisserie chicken. Well, it's a smoked chicken too. And uh, the fried chicken was so good and it might be very delicious. So we need to try it. We have to, you know, put a good staple on it. We have to find out. It definitely has a smoky taste to it. And that's good. It's not like a rotisserie chicken. I would definitely say it's different than all the other chicken, uh, like family style meal, like selections. This has got its own unique spice and I don't know, it's actually not that bad. I wouldn't prefer, I wouldn't mind actually getting either that or the fried chicken. Of course we ended up getting some more of that brisket and I love it. So thank you. <laughs> Honestly though, now I think I'm just so full. I think we're ready for the dessert. And I'm sorry to say it's not gonna be a strawberry shortcake. Even though I really, really do miss the strawberry shortcake, it is gonna be something pretty fancy. Before we get to dessert though, I decided on a little coffee. Now, soft drinks and coffee are included in the price of $29.99, which is absolutely amazing. So I always tend to get a coffee before uh, dessert because it's just a good way to settle and it's already included. And look at how they bring out the creamer in a little so cow cute. pitcher or bucket. I like it, a little half and half. A little Joffrey's to keep our day going a little bit here. Ooh, that's hot. Here it is, the dessert. And take a look at that. It's got everything in there. It's got cowboy cookies, marshmallows, brownies, chocolate-covered bacon, and then at the brim or the bottom of the cowboy hat, there it is. That's the strawberry shortcake. Oh, and a banana. I mean, that is, that's a lot. I guess we just we just get in there. Oh, go ahead, yeah. Just get in there, and there's the shortcake at the bottom. She said, right? Oh my God! Big bowl of goodness here. Big bowl Let me get you a horseshoe. Oh, thank you. Have a horseshoe you. cookie. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little banana, a little oh, yeah, ice cream. Yeah, definitely. I want some banana in there. Where's the ice cream? Am I getting it? Yeah, you're getting it's ice to cream. See what's going on in here? This is a little chocolate covered bacon. Ooh, fancy, fancy. And a little bit of brownie. Oh. Oh yeah. I got a little bit of everything on the spoon. We've got bacon, brownie, banana, cookie, ice cream, all of it. The works. The show stopper. <laughs> this is really, really delicious, but it's hard to actually 
kind of like make plates out of. Yeah. I wish there was a big old cowboy hat, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. A big old cowboy hat that we can just kind of like share. Mm -hmm. But honestly, it's, it's, it's the, the, the brim of the hat is kind of like the biggest part of it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Now I am officially full and it was so delicious and such a value. $30, around 30, 30, $33 a person. You can't beat that. I think it's literally the cheapest family style out there. Even cheaper than Whispering Canyon Cafe, I believe. And it's well worth it. Like you, you definitely get full. So I think we're gonna go walk around the resort a little bit and just kind of take in this beautiful nature. It's so amazing here. I really love just hearing the music here. Isn't it so nice? Now that we're all done with dinner, I think we're gonna go walk around the resort a little bit. It's just really cool to explore. Explore, oh, explore. <laughs> oh, yeah. the symphony of cicadas. We're gonna actually leave Pioneer Hall and head on over to some of the other areas in the resort. They have different uh, recreation that they offer. Like they have a couple pools, basketball courts, and even a campfire uh, site. It's really good and they used to do sing-alongs with Chip and Dale and I don't know, we're just gonna explore a little bit. One of these days, hopefully very soon, I want to come here and I want to stay and I want to bring Gracie because it's going to be amazing. They have their own dog park here. You can literally have your pets with you and actually have an area, a fenced in area where they can play. You can hear some of the doggies. Yeah, look at them, they're going crazy. Oh my God. Look at that, isn't that amazing? They have dog parks all the way around, little gym for them, and then tons of areas over here. This kid's trying to get eaten. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is so awesome. Wagon Trails Dog Park. And you gotta see the sign over here. It's Pluto because, you know, Pluto's the most famous Disney dog. Look at that. Oh, I would love it. I would so much love to come here with Gracie. I don't want to bring her here unless I'm staying here. I don't think I can, number one. But she would have so much fun, I bet. Looks like we got tether ball here. Might as well uh, tether. Tethering. You want to tether a ball with me? Let's tether the ball. Let's tether the ball. <laughs> oh, you did it well, Lily! That's not fair. Wait. Come on. Come on. A little tether ball and a surprise visit from a nice little doggy dude. Did you see that little baby? It was so awesome. Cute. He came so running cute. over and uh, he was friends with Gracie. Aww. Now we have made it over to the meadow and this is where the uh, Chippendale sing-along is. And then they have a couple of other things over here. It's so nice though. It is so pretty here right now. It's not close to a sunset, but it's kind of getting there and you can just see the reflection in the trees. It's just so peaceful. I really, really am enjoying everything right now. They've got a nice little mining station here and then some fishing spots. And then all the way over here, I see a wide open field and I'm guessing that's gonna be where the campfire sing-along is, where, where it used to be. Oh, here we are, yes! Let's go make some s'mores! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hand clamping, foot stomping, sing-alongs, cartoons, and moving pictures. This is gonna be so much fun to hang out here for a little bit. I see the fire is going, and I think we're gonna grab some marshmallows and roast a little marshmallows. And here we go, only $6, and look at the size of the bag of marshmallows I give you. And they give you two sticks, too. Nice. Yeah, so here you Thank go. You. And a bag full of marshmallows. So Six dollars. Six dollars. Okay, cool. Let's roast. Side. All Holy right. Smoly. Time to put our marshmallows on. There we go. Oh, you're already marshmallowed up, huh? I'm marshmallowed up. This is the smoky side. Oh, look yeah, at this we're guy. On the smoky side. He's right. got a break. He's got a strategy right here. All right, let's get in there. You gotta get oh, it yeah. toasted and then blow it out. <laughs> I like burnt oh marshmallows. Me too. Uh -oh. oh boy. Uh -oh. 
Ooh. Oh my gosh. It's on fire. Where this Ooh. 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 <laughs> I can't get it out. My eyes, my brand. <laughs> not scald your mouth. Don't burn your mouth. No scalding. Uh oh. Uh. Before the campfire situation ends, so we need to get this done. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a fancy square marshmallow. Okay, okay. Blow it out, blow it out. Got it. You got it? All right, all right. There we go. There it is. That's the way. Do you guys like your marshmallows burnt like this? Or do you like it like brown? I like mine charred. Charred all the way. <laughs> Looks like they're gonna be closing up the fire now because they're gonna be starring Movie Under the Stars and they're actually gonna be doing Ryan the Last Dragon. How cool is that? It's one of the newest movies that came out. I don't think we're gonna be staying for the movie though. It's definitely gonna get dark so we're gonna start making our way over to the metal trading post and then probably back out to the parking lot, get aboard the uh, Walt Disney World bus transportation. And I guess with that, we are done here. What a fun adventurous day at Fort Wilderness. I can hear the golf carts going back and forth and it's starting to get a little dark out. And I just had so much fun, I cannot wait. I really wanna stay here uh, and I'm hoping to do it very soon because I think it's just gonna be such an amazing experience and I wanna share it with you guys and also be able to experience it as well. But just coming here and eating at Trails End and just having a great day was a good start. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. And nothing like a little deer to say good night. Good night, friends. Thanks for hanging out at the fort.